hi. Okay. So, um, last night, you know, I've been meditating for a long time, and last night I had something new, which is always surprising, because <laughs> I'm always thinking, oh, you know, I've done it all, whatever. Right, so um, I had this big feeling on the 10th, and since the 10th, you know, I've been, I feel like I've been adjusting. I mean, I've had feelings before that have taken a few days to adjust to. But this definitely took like a week. It was just, I don't know what's going on, but it takes time. You've just got to um, go with the flow and feel what you're going to feel and take it. Anyway, so last night, sitting there meditating, and I felt my soul. Now I've done this before, I've felt my soul before. <clears throat> but last night I felt it more fully than I've ever felt it before. And I'm sure I could still feel it more fully. But what I realised is something that changed the way I thought. You see, I thought you know, come listening to AJ Miller and everything. <clears throat> so I've been thinking all this time that we came into this life and the, the things we've had to put up with, the shit we've had to put up with, the lies and everything else has been injuring our soul. That's what I thought. But I can see now that um, it really hasn't injured our soul at all, really, our soul will not get injured. So what happens instead is we detriment the ability of our body to feel our soul. And this is why I've been realising that the human physical body is equipped with the ability to feel the soul and um, if you think if my theory we're four billion years old we've been every animal there is so we've been animals that were capable of you know living in the physical world even dreaming and having a spiritual body <clears throat> and maybe when we were mammals we had some ability to feel some aspects of the soul and when we were reptiles or whatever maybe we had less and now that we're humans we got more and so when you're born and you put up with this shit and stuff like that and shit happens and it's hard and stuff like that it doesn't injure the soul, it reduces your capacity to feel the soul in your human body. And by meditating and processing emotions throughout your life, you, you, you're healing those and you're allowing more of your soul to be felt through your body. So it's like the body has these built-in things and so, for example, um, carnal lusts, you know, they are of the body. And I was seeing last night how when feeling my soul proper, um, carnal lusts and things like that were just not, they were just a lower scale down, you know, um, shapes of a woman and everything else was just shapes of a woman. It, you know, it was much more interesting and enjoyable to feel just the emotion of what that might entail. And therefore more true. <clears throat> um, I sort of hesitated, I nearly made a video last night and again this morning I've been thinking about it and hesitating a bit because I'm just not you know, again, really, it's just difficult to do to do it justice with with words. 
um, what I'm noticing, um, and what I'm getting, see I've started meditating with my eyes open and I think that's kind of helped in a way because I'm I'm seeing things like when I get to a certain level in the meditation after 20-30 minutes and I start feeling and and then my vision starts going funny I get a thing where I get a dot in the middle and sometimes that can get bigger I get uh, uh, the the whole sort of vision kind of gets a colour tint to it and and that can change going through different colours but what what happens when I'm starting to get into feeling the soul is okay so my vision is there I have a feeling and this you know all right just I have a feeling and it comes into my heart and it changes everything like so I'm I'm totally immersed in it it's not just coming from the right or the left or below or above or behind or in front it's coming from every direction and at those points there, you know, then I know I'm getting into something and it, when I stop feeling it, it will go to pain. And I've said this before about pain is the resistance of a deeper feeling. So whenever you get any bit of pain, that is an opportunity to process an emotion, probably, most likely. Sometimes it's even a, a good one. You, you can get a pain and you're resistant to to feel this um, emotion and um, yeah even when I was when they even when I went to bed and I started feeling this euphoria and then it was feeling really strong I was like oh okay slow down a bit you know I'm not sure how much I can enjoy and I just compared it to the when you get a negative feeling I've almost got better at sticking it out with the negative ones than with the good ones, weirdly. But just remembering that, you know, whatever feeling you feel in is not going to last forever, so enjoy it while it lasts. And, uh, and yeah. So when I look at people now, when I notice people, you know, it's not going to be a case of, oh, is their soul injured? It's how much how much of the soul is that body allowing through so if i'm looking at a person a physical body and they're only letting like one percent of their soul through there i'm only seeing one percent of an eternal being of a brother a sister i'm only seeing one percent of that and the 99 percent is all of the built up injuries and things it's just a or it's just the you know the physical body and so children are going to be allowing much more of their soul in although they're in the process of closing it down if things are still going the way they have been so you'll feel you'll notice more of their soul coming through and it was a real sort of when I first felt it, it was like, yeah, this four billion year old being, that's me. So, and the realization that I hadn't been, I'm not damaged. My soul isn't damaged. My soul knows. You know, and this is a feeling I got in the early days when I was starting this is, you know, my soul knows, my heart knows. And it was like faith in that. And um, it's good. It's good. Right, that was that. Okay.